All right, we're in number eight now. And I'm going to go to the whiteboard again. And I need room, that's why. And what is it going to be? This number eight. It's going to be arc cosine of 5x dx. And I realize that times you say, oh, there's too much to memorize. And it's true. There could be too much to memorize. Now, going back and reading the problem says, you know, integration by parts. But right now, I, I don't know if I'm really ready for that. All right? I'm looking at this thing, and I'm wondering, if I were to write anything down, you know, I don't really know the antiderivative of our cosine off the top of my head. So I'd probably be forced to say u equals. But then I might be confronted with that I don't even know the derivative of that thing. I can't remember. It does happen. Now, if I do that, I'm forced to say that dv is equal to dx. Well, that, that one's easy. That's just going to be v equals x. But I want to go through a review process about how to take that guy's derivative. Let me just write down, you know, if that's true, then the cosine of u is equal to 5x. And then I would uh, differentiate. I would get minus sine of u du equals 5 dx. All right? So that really doesn't help me too much, but I think I kind of remember that in the past what we did was, you know, we drew a triangle down. And the angle's u, and the ratio for cosine of u is 5x over 1. So this would be 5x, that would be 1. What's the, what's the side that's opposed that? Uh, let's take a look at that. That would be the root of 1 minus 25x squared. All right? So let me see if I can put that down. All right, so the minus sign of u, what's the sign of u? Well, looking at that picture, it's just simply the root of 1 minus 25, uh, I'm sorry, the root of 1 minus 25x squared du is equal 5 dx. All right, let's write this over here. So du, let's be careful about that, minus 5 over the root of 1 minus 25 x squared dx. Now let's say you could remember that and you didn't need to go through that work. Well, good for you, but you don't need to go through that. I'm going to erase this because this is something I had to go through. I said I couldn't remember. And when you can't remember something, you have to derive it. it happens all the time. All right? Just like, you know, multiplications, you were told to, you know, learn a certain number of multiplications, maybe, you know, a, a 10 by 10 table uh, or a 12 by 12, whatever. But there's numbers that, that exceed that. You'd have to know an algorithm for figuring out other multiplications. All right? Now, this may not help. Right? It's only going to help if things get better. So let, let's write down what I'm seeing over here using integration by parts. Equals uv. Well, that's minus 5. I'm sorry, not minus 5. I said uv. Sorry about that. It's going to be um, x times the arc cosine of 5x minus v, which is x, du, which is going to be, oh, it's negative, so I'll put this over here. I do see the 5, and over here, I would have this down now, 1 minus 25 x squared dx. So I did use integration by parts, but now I'm looking at this thing and saying, did it get any better? And, and what I mean by that, did the integration get better? Well, I'm looking at this integration, and I think I probably would need to use a u substitution now. So let's put it down. So u equals, I'm going to say, 1 minus 25x squared du is going to be minus 50x dx. All right? So what I'm going to do over here, first I'll get my eraser out. It's still x, by the way. But what I want to do is I want to put a minus 50 in front of that. If I do that, i got to put a minus 50 over here because i got to cancel off. So what do you get? Let's write that down. You get x arc 
cosine of 5x minus, this is 1 tenth now. I'm going to use a star because I'm going to change uh, the variable to a u. So, so minus 50x dx is going to be just 1 du. And then the bottom, what do you get? You would get u to the 1 half power. Well, 1 over u to the 1 half power, I'm going to erase that, is really u to the minus 1 half. Can I integrate that guy? Yes. And what do you get? X arc cosine 5x minus 1 tenth. And what do you get over there? You would get u, increase the exponent by 1, 1 half. And you're going to divide by half or multiply by its reciprocal, which is 2, plus some constant of integration. Put a star because they're really not that yet, or not there yet. So you get x arc cosine 5x. This would give me minus 1 fifth. And that's going to be the root of plus c. The root of what? The root of u. What's u? It's 1 minus 25 x squared. Little box on it. Again, I, I say it a number of times. Mistakes happen when they happen. You know, sometimes it's, it's exhausting, but you want to go back and look at what you've done and see if you can correct the problem at all. So I'm going to look at the key now. What do you mean by the key? The key that we give you. And I'm seeing this x. I'm seeing the arc cosine of 5x. I am seeing minus 1 fifth, and I am seeing the root of 1 minus 25x squared and plus c. We're good to go to the next question. Thank you.